thousand bodies in here because people bring their parents, their friends, right? Yeah, very true. Alrighty, now we're going with Terry. Okay, looks like we got everything figured out now. Alrighty, here we go. So without further ado, without further delay, let's get into Nido and Tai versus uh, Huto and Gakt. Yeah. Of course, Gakt being one of the best Nesses out there in Japan. He's also one of the best, top five best Ness, alongside players like Best Ness, Atata, and a few, just a few didn't fear. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, pretty standard combos coming from Terry so far. Power dunk. <laughs> What's a meme with uh, Locust, Jab, Jab, Power Dunk? <laughs> yeah. He is actually here in attendance, too, as well. Yeah, I believe he was the one of the last invited players. Um, oh, yeah, and look at that. Terry already had over 100%, but Ness can quickly counteract that by getting a back throw, so we'll have to see. But there's the power geyser. Not quite going to take out the stock, but at least gets his opponents off of him. Oh, no, and the, that did not help him out the grenade. Yeah, but he still had the, the flip, so he's going to be able to make it back to safety, but he's just getting thrown all over the place, and finally the back throw is going to seal out the stock. Oh, like, Ty was waiting to see where Nito was going to land after that forward air, and he immediately decided to push in, cover for Nito just in case he was going to get tech chase as well. Mm -hmm. All right, the fair comes in. Not going to be able to send Terry off stage. I think that's going to be one of the other main things you want to do since Terry's recovery is very, very exploitable. Yeah. The rising tackle doesn't automatically snap the ledge. He has, like, a few frames. You can actually catch him in the act of it and then punish him for it. Okay. Meter is full again. Great parries all around from Nito to be able to navigate around his teammate's projectile since, you know, team attack is off, obviously. Yeah. Or on, on, excuse me. <laughs> imagine, a, imagine a meta where we had team attack off. Oh my Crazy. god, all, proje Crazy. all projectile <laughs> characters, dude. Like, Link would just be standing at the ledge, like, shooting arrows while, like, a, like a rushdown oh. character goes in. That's basically what would happen. Speaking of sitting at the ledge here, the bomb was at the ledge, and unfortunately Ty picked the wrong time to detonate it. That's kind of one of those things for Link in this matchup, as in, especially in doubles, right? He can only really use bomb when his opponents are off stage, and at that opportunity for Ty, it wasn't really a good option. Mm -hmm. And then Gak will definitely take care of Link's recovery because he has to go for the up B, but Link's hurt box will stick out just enough for that down smash to take care of him. And there it is, jab, jab, power, <laughs> jab, jab, power dunk. It's not a meme, it's like legit. Okay, and Ty not gonna be able to make it back to the stage either, unfortunate. Yeah, and for Nito to actually have to fight the 2v1. I don't doubt Nito here, but with his opponents having four stocks, it'll be legendary if he can pull it off, that's for sure. All right, he just needs to get six more percent, and then... He's we'll, got Hudo on 154. Yeah. And that's definitely enough. He's got Go Meter activated. If he's able to land, he might be actually try to use it, uh, Power oh, Geyser or Buster yeah. Wolf, but unfortunately, the up tilt from Banjo will be enough, sensing the fact that... That was good from Jack. He was using PK Thunder. He knows Nito has to land at the ledge. And for Huto to actually go ahead and try to cover that option with up tilt at that situation was really good. That was really well played. Yeah, very nice. All right, I wonder what stage you're going to next. You know, I tried playing Terry for a bit. It's not that the inputs are hard. It's just that the input, doing the inputs on a control stick rather than a D-pad is a nightmare. <laughs> like. There's no, yeah, not, there's no that, notches that. on the pro controller either, which is what oh. I play. So I'm just like, where's diagonal? <laughs> you know what? It's weird though, because I'm used to. Uh, the only reason why I'm used to it is because I play Plaid uh -huh. on PS4. Uh huh. So I'm kind of used to it, like Wait, playing Mortal Kombat. Do you use control stick? Yeah. You don't use D-pad. I don't use D-pad. Freaking weirdo. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> anyways. I know. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> I, I, it's gonna be weird when I make the transition to actual like like a hitbox or something like that. That would be definitely. I weird. can't get over that, dude. Oh my god, you're so weird. Anyways, here we go. You, 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 man, you use the controller you grew up with. That's for sure. That's why we still rocking the GameCube controller out here, man. <laughs> All the way straight from the GameCube 2003. Everyone just on top of each other right now. Looks like Gax trying to close out ties for some. Whoa. Okay. He got the dare on Gax, but then I think Huto immediately got the kill on Ty right there. Yeah, using the Wonder Wing. All right, Go is on right now. Let's see if we can get a Power Geyser. No, oh, pick a neutral get comes up. in. Okay. Great spacing from Gact as well. Just stays right outside of Terry's range. Nice. I like the Nito. He stalls himself with the Power Wave. Back throw will take care of the stock here. Like yeah. I mentioned earlier how, right, like having throw kill, kill throws will be really, really supplemental here in doubles. Yeah, Especially definitely. with higher percents. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what makes a double steam comp, honestly, is the throw kills, the damage, right, the weight, especially. Oh no, yeah. Ty. 
stuck below the stage here. Mm -hmm. I definitely think Terry is a very interesting pick to have in doubles only because a lot of his hitboxers are small that are big combo stars, like his Nair, for example. Yeah. Like, they 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 really don't cover a sweeping motion. They just stay in one spot. So it's interesting to see. Or if he does pick a move, it's very committal on movement, so he's kind of stuck there if he does, like, power dunk or something like, right. something like that. So I don't think it's really working out, especially with a, with a projectile character like Link. But you know what? They just got to close out the Nest 2 stocks, and then they're at, technically at even. So Yeah. Especially with Gag being at, and Hudo being at high percents. Rise attack will not be going to be enough here to take care of Gag. Oh my god, a shield pressure. Yeah, oh no, and unfortunately with the way that Nita was trying to escape it, he got punished. Yeah, three stocks to two, but Ty's at 84%. Not looking too bright right now. Like, Terry's, Terry's a, I think Terry's a good character, don't get me wrong. I don't think he's a comeback character, though. No, not for sure. Yeah. I feel like he's a character. I, I, not would, in doubles. In singles, maybe, because yeah. he, uh, because of the go meter. And that's the thing, too, right? Like, doubles bring such a different meta format for players to actually have to understand, like, what character works better in doubles as opposed to singles. Yeah. And finding the right team composition to work with each other is really, really good. Because mm -hmm. you have to understand, okay, if I'm going to go a heavyweight, like I mentioned earlier in the stream, you kind of have to pick a lightweight to deal damage, and the heavy can capitalize off the percent. Right. Oh, pfft. he tried to power dunk recover and not quite going to work there this because might of PK be, Thunder. This might be the same strategy we saw from Gagakuto last game where he's going to PK Thunder him and unfortunately Nindo has a rough time landing with no focus attack because he usually also uses Ken. Hey. Grenades of Yeah, grenades. Hey. Okay, okay finally, no, <laughs> finally got say. back. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, and Nindo holding on to the last of his cards here. At 186, if he can get something going, but unfortunately, the Wonder Wing will ruin all hope for Nito. Alrighty, so PK Thunder versus Terry. Seems like a 90-10 matchup right there. Yeah. Just PK Thunder, nothing else. Just the PK Thunder. I'm that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, he has no reason to go for any other option other than PK Thunder. And the way that he kind of let it up for Hudo to just try to be in the air and capitalize off it, literally, Nito has no focus attack, which he would usually use if he were a can. Right, and for Terry having four landing options, he was forced to go to the ledge, and the way that Hudo was chasing him down after him, it was almost a no-brainer. Yeah, definitely. I commend Nito for still trying, though. He was like, I 186. Yeah. He did not give up. He didn't even ask. <laughs> he was like, forget it. I'm going to try until it's over. He was like, he wouldn't expect it the 15th time. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, he did. But valiant effort from both of those two, putting up a fight. But, of course, the Japanese team is going to take another one for the books here. Yeah.